Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday, June 16th here at Rogers Aquatics. Uh, we're a little overdue, so we're going to do a fish room tour today. Uh, starting off down at the bottom here, we've got some really nice sized Denisoni barbs and pandagaras. A few odds and ends rainbows in here. We've got some blaharis and millenniums. Some green phantom plecos. Some Congo tetras. New batch of discus in. They're still settling in. They won't be available for probably a week or so. Parkinsonis rainbows. Some nice color already coming in on some of those males. Got a mixed group of lobsters. The red guys are up in this tank. There's a couple other colors in other tanks. Neat fish, uh, not recommended for a community tank. They will mow down your plants. Amazing batch of silver arowanas. Really good size. A few auto cats left as well. We've got eight line McCulloch's rainbows. We do have some plants in here. We'll zoom past the planted tanks as well. Down the bottom, I think I just got one little trade-in white angelfish somewhere in there. Some more 4.99 plants and Fletcher's Creek rainbows. Phoenix tetras and some Habgood River rainbows. They get a really nice purple hue to them. Up top, we've got a good supply of moss balls, a few apistos left, silver half chits, and some Javanese rice fish. Whoop, we lost our light on this one. Uh, we do have some Mexican dwarf blue lobsters in that tank. Couple fire eels here. Uh, we got Madagascar rainbows and some blue smoke angels. Bottom tanks got some kissing grammys and moonlight grammys. We do have betas. We've got uh, some veil girls and boys, as well as a couple mustard gas left and dumbo ear. Good selection of shrimp right now. We've got some orange really. Got lots of cherries. We've got a few black King Kongs left. Bumblebee. Some red crystals. Yellow fire. Some Indian green and there's some filtering clams in there as well. Feeder guppies are in stock. Uh, we have lemon tetras fork tails and some orange rabbit snails. Really nice batch of sparkling Grammys that came in. More of the phenol betas and some assassin snails. We still have some Annie's gobies, as well as panda coris and some Thai glass cat that are probably hiding in the back at the moment. We've got some unusual black Venezuelan coris, as well as some electric blue rams and I believe two gold nuggets left. These are L18s. Odessa barbs and common plecos. You will see that we've got a few guys on hold for new arrival and quarantine. Uh, we have both sizes of feeders available. The quarantine guys should be ready to go uh, between the next few days and next Monday, just depending what the treatment plan is for them. Still have some brackish Indian mud moray eels. They're all holed up waiting for food this morning. It's a really nice batch of black phantom tetras. Also Bolivian rams and there are honey grammys and the original honey grammys as well that aren't quite as orange. Cherry barbs and a couple magnum plecos left. There he is. Siamese algae eaters. We've got crimson loaches down the bottom there. Some nice assorted angels and gold barbs. More red honey grammies. A few con color coris and lots of blue eyed daisy rice fish. 
blue female guppies, a few small black mollies, mixed platies, another batch of assorted platies, really nice batch of golden mollies. I haven't seen these in a while. We do have dwarf aquatic frogs in stock and pygmy quarries. Uh, Mexican orange dwarf lobster. These guys are a little smaller. Still full of just as much attitude. And there's a snowball pleco or two hiding in here. There he is. Some glow danios and silver flying fox. Long fin pandas and sturbi quarries. On the bottom we've got glowfish. We'll have some more of those arriving this week as well. Uh, some blue acaras. These aren't the electric blue. These are the originals. Some red-headed geophagus as well. Uh, some blood parrots. The quote-unquote purple and yellow. As well as some clown loaches. Those guys will be another almost week or so before they're ready. Uh, a few emerald rainbows. And some sunshine plecos hiding in there as well. Some ghost shrimp, the giant apple snails, and white wizard snails as well. Another batch of panda quarries, lots of nearite snails, and some orange pumpkin shrimp in this tank as well. Some larger Mexican orange lobsters. We do have a mono shrimp and some blue dream shrimp and mystery snails in here. Uh, we've got one discus here. He was a trade-in. He's ready to go. Uh, he's $139.99. We're not sure on his variety, but he's a really nice, friendly guy. we got yo-yo loaches, some nice spiky pagoda snails, and Colombian and diamond tetras. We have a new batch of neons. And some blue, more blue shrimp. These are the lighter blue. Where are you guys? There we are. Next up, we've got cardinals and serpent loaches, long fin danios. We do have pea puffers in stock, more Siamese algae eaters. We did get a batch of flower horns. We just keep these guys on observation a little longer, they don't always travel so well. Uh, we've got Thai Silk and Red Dragon available. Uh, we've got some Green Tiger and Tiger Barbs, Checkered and Snakeskin Barbs, a few Splendida Loaches, and the White Lobsters are in here. Where are you guys? Oh, there he goes. Down at the bottom, some really nice uh, red flag tails came in this last batch. We've got some dolphin fish and synodontis, peacock bass, and I think there's one lonely blood parrot in that guy. Ballast sharks and lots of albino bushy nose and some locally bred buffalo heads as well. <clears throat> Next up, green phantom tetra geophagus as well. Some more synodontis and flash plecos. We got some dwarf pikes and some larger bushy nose in amongst the little albinos there. In the big tank, we've got the blue lobsters as well as some emerald eye rasboras, white skirt and black skirt tetras, gold cloud, cloud plecos, and marbled head standers. Let's see if we can find one of our blue lobsters. Again, not recommended for planted tanks, and be careful with slower moving fish, they may try to grab them. More of our flower horns up top. Uh, we've got some locally bred German rams and some royal whiptails. Down in cichlid country, we've got Juliochromus dickfeldi. These ones were locally bred. A few sardine cichlids left and some upside down catfish. Some albino transcriptus as well as some more sardines. Nice males getting really nice color in there. 
down in the big tank, we've got some striped Raphael. We've got Living Stony, Sunshine's Bicolor. Bottom, we've got Nicaraguan, Notatus Severums, Four Line Catfish, I believe there's just a couple left, and Chocolate Cichlid. New arrivals, some Texas. They'll be on quarantine a few more days, probably. Uh, up here, we've got a really nice colorful tank of Ristratus, Cadangos, Strawberries, and OBs. These ones will probably be at least a week before they're ready to go. Top side, we've got some Viejas, Cubans, a green Severum, a large Frontosa somewhere in here, and some Malawi Hawks are mixed in with this batch. Oh, hi Cuban. Really nice batch of Tiger Oscars that came in. We've got some smaller Eye Biters, Red Empress and Denisoni. A few level yellow Calvis left along with some smaller Petricola Cynodontis. Blue Mori's and Lawandas. Up top, a few female Taiwan Reefs, some Cendrilicus, blue hybrid in there, is not for sale. If he pokes his head out, he's still healing. And some Fairy Bichardi. The Daffodils are next door, along with the Exasperatus. Down below, we've got Five Bard and a few Blue Neons left, along with Deepwater Electra Haps. Uh, we've got some koi, as well as some fancy goldfish that'll probably still be a few more days to a week before they come off quarantine. Uh, we've got some mixed fantails, as well as some pearl scale in there. That is everything from us at Rogers. We hope everyone has a safe and happy week, and we hope to see you soon. Our hours at the moment are 11 to 6 daily. Have a good one. Bye now.